Welcome to the Lift Journal, a session-by-session -session record of my progression in foiling from a beginner's perspective, sharing the highs and lows of my experience firsthand. All right, guys, Lift Journal. Been doing a little bit of uh, like different tail configurations lately. Um, in the last episode, I tried the back foot and then I decided to go back to the neutral tail that Unifoil uh, has in their G10 three pack. And uh, then I kind of messed around with shims and I was kind of thinking like maybe I should have a little bit more shim and uh, keep in mind, Unifoil and Armstrong have two different ways of doing their shims. Unifoil, the less shim you have, the straighter the tail is. And Armstrong, the more shim you have, the straighter the tail is. So I messed around a lot with Armstrong when I was using their rig and uh, found that like the middle ground was kind of the best one for me. Now a Unifoil, uh, I somehow was able to uh, do this in the middle of winter. It was cold, but I did a change in my shim on the beach, took my gloves off, the things I do for you people to sacrifice. Uh, so cold, but um, I was at a one and wasn't really feeling it. I felt like I had like an anchor on my tail because I've been riding a 0.5 for, for so long. And I uh, thought it might be the wind. I had the wind blowing against me. Um, and then went back and uh, grabbed the 0.5 shim and it was like night and day. Uh, felt awesome. Yesterday, I had a super duper surprised fun day that I did not have my solo shot charged up. So I can't prove it, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I tried the front foot uh, tail by Unifoil. I apologize, I forget all the names of these, the shiv, the shank, and the shunt or something like that. Um, and having a real issue. Uh, I could like not keep the nose down. Um, it was really strange. I had it at a 0.5 degree as well. Um, just didn't feel right. And uh, it's kind of a bummer because like I want to try like something new, but like the waves are really good. Like I was still connecting waves uh, the pump was actually really good. It was just the takeoff and riding the wave itself. Uh, it felt super unstable. And I don't know if it's because maybe my front leg isn't as strong as my back leg, but like, I felt like a lot of like turbulence in where I wouldn't find turbulence. Again, it could be, I, it's probably just my, my feet, but today, anyway, a new day. So shot is charged. I'm going to try a zero shim because I want efficiency and I'm riding a 210 uh, Hyper 2. It's a big wing for me uh, and I'm only like 140 pounds. So I might as well try to get as efficient as I can. My pumping's feeling good. I'm wondering how much faster I'm gonna be able to pump. And also today, we have a pretty uh, slight but south wind. So this is gonna be my first run at trying like a shore runner. Uh, the waves are terrible. I'm actually not even sure if this is going to be an entry full because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any waves. It's only getting shallower and the waves look like shit. So we'll kind of see, but uh, wish me luck and uh, I might see you in a little bit.
that was an interesting session. Uh, got the got the shit scared out of me. Um, I haven't hit that hard ever. Uh, I. Oh wow, yeah, that was scary. Um, that's okay though. It's all part of it. Um, shims did the zero. That's my jam. Fast. Super fast. Uh, and I think that it's perfect for uh, my ability and kind of where I'm at. My weight, what I'm using it for, 210. Um, super efficient. The only issue is I think that because I was going so much faster, I was going into turns faster and that's why I think I almost killed myself twice today. Um, scary. I can't believe I didn't bash my rail in. Um, carbon fiber. Who would have thought? Because uh, if that was a regular surfboard rail, that would have been smashed in for sure and fully unsurfable. Um, it's crazy. I had my longest, I don't want to call it a shore runner because I don't know what it is, but I went for a while. I, uh, my, I think it was my last wave. That's when I finally decided I, I didn't want, I'm, I'm exhausted, but got up, small wave, pumped, and then just started like feeling the swell just start to carry me got to the point where all of a sudden i'm looking ahead of me and i'm going past the jetty and i'm still going and uh that was sick uh i was just pumping trying to stay high on the mast and just gliding just to see like how far i could go and then pumping a little bit more to the point of where I was exhausted, that's definitely my longest uh, wave, but that was so sick. Uh, not downwinding, but like getting me pretty psyched for it because I could feel, you know, my, my body being kind of just going with the flow with the wind and the swell. Pretty sick. 210 Hyper 2, that's the jam for what uh, I was trying to do today, which was just kind of like going for distance. We wanted to see what that zero shim could do. And uh, zero shim, huge difference. Awesome. Um, gonna be six months foiling in a couple days. Be my little six month anniversary. Pretty hyped on that. I feel good about where I'm at. Um, I'm really psyched for, uh, the 140 progression as is everybody. Um, I also have a small fuse coming with that as well. Thanks to the folks, of course, again, Josh, the foil shop, Seal Beach, um, got a nice little goodie bag, pretty psyched. Got the smaller fuse actually for the 210. So that way when I'm using it in small, small surf and I'm just pumping around, I can still turn a little bit better. Uh, Cause I definitely felt myself getting caught. Um, and also that's also lack of experience. Blah, 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 blah. Today was fun. It's fun to scare the shit out of yourself. But I was probably kind of stupid. I should probably wear like an impact vest again and maybe even a helmet. I'm gonna have to start doing that because I I'm my hands a little banged up. I if I would have landed on my ribs, I probably would have broken a rib, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, that's all a part of it. Until next time. Peace. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already.